You were dealt from the New York Islanders uh, to the Los Angeles Kings. What were the uh, intangibles that went into that deal? Well, I hated it. It was the worst day of my hockey uh, life at that point. I was uh, 28 years old and I didn't want to get traded. I was perfectly comfortable with the Islanders. Uh, my wife was eight months pregnant with our second daughter. So when I was traded, it was a big kick in the teeth, as you said, Nick. It really stings. It really hurts. The only thing you can think about is how uh, somebody doesn't want you. So it turned out to be the best move of my hockey life uh, when I went to Los Angeles, not because I got to play with Wayne Gretzky, but my goaltending partner in in Los Angeles was Glenn Healy so that happened to be the best <laughs> yeah. thing could have ever imagined, happened to my career but it turned out over time I really loved it and I loved playing with Wayne and the excitement of playing on a, a team that everybody had their eyes on the LA Kings but uh, my overwhelming why did, feeling why were you is dealt that from a Long Island though what, what happened I don't Wayne Gretzky wanted me too much <laughs> money yeah. what is it it's always <laughs> the same made for Hollywood come uh, on come on Wayne Kelly your were, demands were crazy <laughs> back then Wayne and I got to know each other in the 87 Canada Cup from mm -hmm. Florida from what I gather, he was able to convince Bruce McNall uh, to start talking to Bill Torrey, and that's how it worked. Your nice. first trade was from the Maple Leafs. Yeah, I was woke up middle of a pregame nap, and it was Pat Quinn who called me. And in, in, in a matter of 15 seconds, it was we made a trade involving you. You're going to Tampa. Good luck. <laughs> I, mean, yeah. I mean, it was I was I was barely awake. Wow. I, I hung up the phone, and all I could think of was where did I get traded? I could not remember the team right. he said because I was barely even awake. And so you kind of process it all, but I'm with Kelly getting traded out of Toronto, my hometown team was very good down to Tampa. It was terrible. I was, I was very disappointed. I didn't like it at all. Um, very unhappy to do so. Uh, did, did the no state tax help you out at all? I, 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 was, nice quick, I, I was quick to appreciate the 15% raise all the way down to Florida. Listen, okay. uh, and, then, and then the trade from Florida to Phoenix, you're more ready for it the second time. So Doesn't it was easier? Much. Absolutely. I was ready to go. I got the call. Wayne Gretzky yeah. called me that yeah, night perfect. from from Phoenix or Arizona now and mm -hmm. said, you're on our way out. And I'm like, beautiful. I'll pack. I'll see you tomorrow. So it wasn't nearly as hard to deal with the second time. But the mm -hmm. first time, it mm -hmm. stings. And, and, and you got to go to the rink. And you got to say bye to everyone. Yeah. And you've never really been, you know, unless you've ever traded in junior or something, but you've never really been traded. You've never been told, you know, we don't want you. It's not that the other guys do want you. It's that the team that you're leaving doesn't want you. And yes. that's the way it feels uh, when it happens for the first time. How for long sure. does it take you to get over that? A while. Weeks for me. Yeah. Yeah, I was really, really, I yeah. liked my new teammates, I liked the team, but I couldn't get over the thought or the fact that, uh, like, I just wasn't wanted. Would you still follow the Islanders? I was like everybody else, I suppose, that was traded for the first time. I wanted them to lose every single so game until the end of time. I got traded away from Toronto and down to Tampa. And I'm going to the World Championships. I woke up every morning reading that little news bulletin outside my door to see if Toronto was going to the Conference Finals, Stanley Cup Finals. Because I thought, if I'm the piece they traded away to get Darcy right. Tucker, and yeah. he was lighting the world right. on fire here, and they win, it's going to be a miserable yeah. summer you, living here. 